Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Tanaj from Confident Grace. Um, this video is going to be the curriculum uh, that I will be using for my seventh grader this year. As you know, I have a seventh grader, a fifth grader, and a kindergartner, but I'm going to focus strictly on my seventh grader and just share what we'll be using for the 2018-2019 school year. So thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy. So I have my course of study in hand. If you see me looking down at it, it's just because I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, starting with Bible and character, I have a curriculum called Through the Bible that I've had for years and years um, from back when I was a children's church teacher. And I will be using that with the whole family and really looking forward to putting my hands on that curriculum again and teaching it to my kids. For language arts, um, literature my daughter will be using brave writers language arts programs um she has gone through some of the arrow guides we absolutely love them as a family this year she'll be doing the pouch of boomerangs um because i think it's most appropriate for her at this age um she's absolutely able to do the books that are in the boomerang but i want to kind of keep her um we'll save that save that set for her until she gets to eighth grade and then you know let her move up in that level a little more advanced for um for grammar she will be doing IEW's fix it grammar last year we did the first one we did the nose tree book one this is robin hood book two um we really enjoy iew's curriculum and so we're really looking forward to getting into this for her this year um this also will double as her typing um typically you rewrite the passage after you've made your edits and your notations but i'm going to have her use this for typing this year as well for penmanship and spelling we are also doubling up. Um, she'll be using spelling UCs level E and F. She's a good speller. Um, last year we did IEW's Phonetic Zoo for her and that worked awesome. Um, but she tested into level C. And um, I just wanted to like switch it up for her a little bit. So this year we'll be trying spelling UC. This is our first year using this curriculum. Um, we've already started level E and so far so good. Uh, this will also, as I said, be doubling for her penmanship because she has to handwrite the passages and um, at the end of the week their spelling test is a dictation passage. So we will be using this for spelling and penmanship this year. And she should be able to get through both of these levels um, by the end of our school year. Looking forward to that. For vocabulary, um, fix it grammar will also double as vocabulary and so will the brave writer um, pouch of boomerang guides um, for writing this year again we're using IEW's writing program um, we will be doing the student writing intensive level B for her um, really looking forward to getting into this we've not used this program for writing at all um, so this will be a lot of fun she also will be uh, pairing this particular level with the theme-based writing, uh, world history-based uh, writing lessons, and this is also level B. Um, she chose this, so I'm sure she is looking forward to getting into this as well. Um, the plan is to flip-flop this once a week between this and the student writing intensive, um, just to mix it up and keep things fun and fresh for her. She likes writing, but I really think she's going to enjoy this. For math. Math, I don't have the curriculum that she's going to be using exactly. Um, last year we did teaching textbooks math 6. This year she will be doing teaching textbooks math 7. Um, we used the 3.0 which is all online. Um, however, I did buy the book simply because I like having the printed material in front of me. Um, but she will be doing teaching textbooks level seven or math seven, 3.0. Um, looking forward to that as well. She has thrived with teaching textbooks and we're just gonna keep going until it doesn't work for us anymore. For science, I'm a little sad. We've been doing science as a family 
since we started homeschooling but this year she's in middle school and so I decided that it was time for her to branch out and have a little more independence so she will be using Apologia's Exploring Creation with General Science. This is the first uh, book for the middle school grade. This is for seventh grade and so she will be using this on her own. It is a hefty, hefty book and so I'm really curious to see how she does with um, this level of independent learning. And I also made sure to buy her the student notebook just to give her all the help that she can get. Um, the student notebook is really amazing. Um, I mean, it's, it's great and I really think she's gonna have a good time with this. Um, we also have the lab kit for this level um, being ordered and shipped to us soon so she will literally have everything she needs to be successful with this level of science. For social studies, social studies for us is history and geography. Um, for history this year we're going to be using the good and the beautiful. Year one, family style. Um, really, really looking forward to getting into this curriculum. I do know that there will be a lot of supplementation that I have to do um, just to make sure that there are no gaps, to make sure that we are not overlooking important history um, that has not been included in here. And, um, you know, I'm up for the challenge and looking forward to doing that. Um, the cool thing about The Good and the Beautiful is that while it is family style, it also offers um, a certain level of independence. It comes with student notebooks and the student notebooks are broken up. There are four of them and they're broken up by uh, grades. So there's a first to third, a fourth to sixth, a seventh to ninth, and a tenth to twelfth. So she will have student notebook for the seventh to ninth grade year. Um, love that simply because she's not doing work that is below her skill and ability and um, my younger children will not be doing work that's too hard and heavy and above their heads that they miss. So um, we're really, really looking forward to getting into this and having some family time and independent time all at the same time. For geography, um, I don't have it in front of me, but we will be using uh, Confessions of a Homeschooler's Road Trip USA. We started to use it last year and had to put it down simply because we were doubling up on geography with other curriculum that we were using and it just got to be too much. But this year we will be focusing on that particular curriculum for geography and we are really looking forward to using it. Um, Erica has done an amazing job with that curriculum and so um, I think it'll really be wonderful for us to use this year for geography as a family. Um, for fine arts we are going to be using Confessions of a Homeschooler again. Um, Erica has created a um, world's greatest artist and a world's greatest composer uh, set of curriculum and we will be using both of them. So for art appreciation and music appreciation, that's what we'll be using this year. Um, I've taken a look at it and it's amazing. It might not be suited necessarily for seventh grade, um, but I figure, you know, it can't hurt. Art is art, music is music, and it'll be beautiful either way. Um, she also will be doing Hoffman Academy's online piano course. Um, we've just really enjoyed that. It is so user-friendly, child-led, if you will. Um, Mr. Hoffman teaches them on the, you know, the computers. They prop up their iPad and sit with the keyboard and go and ha have immediate results. And so we're really loving that and we'll continue using that this year. Um, for foreign language, she'll be using Easy Peasy's All-in-One Homeschool Spanish Level 1. Uh, we've not used that before. We've tried Rosetta Stone for Spanish. It didn't quite work out. Um, that probably was my fault. But uh, we'll be trying to use Easy Peasy this year, Level 1. It's geared for 7th grade, but we're going to make an attempt to use it family style. Um, for health and nutrition, um, you know, just daily living, teaching healthy food choices, um, food prep, personal hygiene care, all of that basic stuff that we do every single day. I don't feel there's a need for curriculum for that, but we absolutely will be focusing on that this year as a family. Um, for PE, she will be doing um, 
swim lessons with a local aquatic center, which she has uh, come to enjoy and might be doing Kempo Karate this year. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And um, for typing, as I said, she's going to be doing typing with the Fix It Grammar, just in a word program, uh, and, you know, learning the basics of keyboarding. For logic this year, she will be working again on Easy Peasy's All-in-One Homeschool year two, most likely. Um, I have to look at it a little bit more just to see if that really will be a good fit for her, but I think that... Um, that is something that we're going to give a try this year. And um, that's it. That is the curriculum choices for my seventh grader for the 2018-2019 seventh grade school year for her. Um, I am going to link everything that I possibly can in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I look forward to speaking with you soon and I'll talk to you later. Take care.